Hi, and uh, today we are going to discuss the dynamic behavior of first order control system by taking an example of continuous stirrer tank reactor. So consider a continuous stirrer tank reactor with inlet volumetric flow rate QI and concentration CI and outlet volumetric flow rate QO and concentration CO. Let the reaction taking place in this CSTRV A gives B which is first order reaction with RA is equal to negative KSCO where K is the rate constant and let V be the volume hold up in the reactor. Now if we recall the equation that we write in our CRV the mole balance for this so we write FA0 plus RA times V is equal to FA plus DNA by DT. So in very similar fashion we can write our mole balance for this system. So the moles is the product of the volumetric flow rate and the concentration C. So we can write this as QI times CI plus RA times V is equal to QO times CO plus V times DCO by DT. Now the rate of generation of the reactant is always a negative number. So QI times CI negative K times CO times V as it is is equal to QO times CO plus V times DCO by DT. Now what we are going to do is we will bring all these equations to one side and the change in concentration with respect to time on one side. So QI times CI negative K times CO times V negative QO times CO is equal to V times the change in outlet concentration with respect to the change in time. Let's call this the equation number one. Now at steady state the change in uh, concentration with respect to the change in time will be zero. So QI times CI negative KCO times V negative QOCO is equal to zero. Let's call this the equation number two. Now here's the time to introduce our deviation variable. If we subtract if we subtract equation two from equation one so we get so at steady state let this coefficient be s this will be s this will be s it's only a notation that we use so qi times ci minus cis negative kv times co minus cos negative qo times co minus cos which will be equal to v times d by dt of co minus cos so what we'll do is we'll compress this equation by defining our deviation variables so let's ci minus ci s is equal to ci bar and CO minus COS which will be equal to CO bar. So now what we can do is we'll put this equation in this equation. So QI times CI bar negative KV times CO bar negative QO times CO bar which will be equal to V times D by DT of CO bar. And now what we are going to do is we are going to take the Laplace transform on both sides of this equation. So we'll get QI times C F bar S which negative K times V times CO bar S negative QO CO bar S which will be equal to V times 
s to the power 1 c o bar s so now we'll bring all these terms possessing c o bar s on one side and c i bar s on one side so q i times c i bar s which will be equal to k times v times c o bar s plus q o times c o bar s plus v times s times c o bar s and now what we are gonna do okay we came up with this equation so we got q i times c i bar s which is equal to k times v times c o bar s plus q o c o bar s plus v s times c o bar s so if we take c o bar s common so k v plus q o plus v times s so q i times c a bar s now we know that the transfer function is the laplace transform of output division variables by the laplace transform of input division variable so what we are going to do is q i divided by k v plus q o plus v times s which is equal to the laplace transform of output division variable q o bar s divided by the laplace transform of input division variable c a bar s now what we are going to do is we are going to take k v plus q o as common so we get q i divided by k v plus q o inside the bracket 1 plus v upon k v plus q o times s so we came up with the equation that is q i divided by k times v plus q o divided by v upon k v plus q o times s plus 1 and from this equation if we compare this equation with our general first order transfer function that is we know gs is equal to 1 upon tau times s plus 1 so if we compare this equation with this equation we can write that tau is equal to v upon kv plus qo so this is the time constant for the continuous stellar tank reactor and this was all the information regarding the first order the dynamic behavior of the first order control system by taking an example of the continuous stutter tank reactor and thank you for watching this video